A group of UVM students is studying on a floating classroom this summer. Our Sophia Thomas tagged along for a lesson on the research vessel Marcel Melisaira. She joins us live on Burlington's waterfront. Sophia, what did you learn? Listen, John, it's been one year since the Marcel Melosaira docked on Lake Champlain. Since then, students say lessons on lake health have taken on new meaning. Anna Hoppy lowers a turbidity meter into the murky Lake Champlain water. She's out on UVM's research vessel Marcel Melosaira, analyzing debris levels after recent flooding. A rising sophomore, Hoppy spent many classes on the boat her first year of college, collecting and studying water samples on the onboard lab. She says it's deepened her appreciation for the lake she grew up on. As an environmental science student, I've become more aware of some of the challenges the lake faces, climate change, with phosphorus pollution. This summer, Hoppy is working as a UVM fellow, conducting research and taking community members out on the boat for a first-hand glimpse of the work. She says concepts like pollution and flood impacts sink in more out on the water. When you can physically see it and touch it and do the science, it makes it feel a lot more real and helps like those concepts click in your brain. At the helm of the boat is Captain Taylor Resnick. He's led countless outings, steering UVM students out to take water samples, taking kindergartners into champ territory, and showing state leaders the trickle-down effects of their policies. It's been awesome. People really get excited when they come out on the boat. A boat fanatic, Resnick enjoys showing off the Melosira's high-tech features, like its hybrid electric system, echo sounding equipment to map out underwater species, and core for taking samples from the bottom of the lake. He says there's a lot to study. I don't think people really understand how big the lake is once you get out here. If there's a good south wind or a good north wind, you, you can get four foot, five foot waves. It's a pretty fascinating lake to work on. That work can inspire researchers to take action on land. Really motivated me to think about the solutions, what we can be doing to address the problems, to make it so that I can go swimming in, on the beaches and not have them be closed because cyanobacteria blooms or, or things like that. Boat staff say they're looking forward to new tech coming aboard in the coming months, like a rosette sampler and a benthic sled, allowing for even deeper exploration of the lake. Live in Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 This Morning.